Hi, this is Srilata. Today I am going to explain about our Infinity Series Interactive Displays, an immersive learning solution for all educational and corporate users. And as you can see here, this is 75 inch AX Series Interactive Display. In this series, you will get three sizes 65 inches, 75 inches, and 86 inches. The display's outer frame is made up of high grade aluminium profile and it has 7 inch hardness with anti glare and anti scratch and the display will come with 4k resolution with 400 nits brightness and it will give natural writing experience with low parallax the display will come with two operating system android and windows android version is 11.0 with 4gb ram and 32gb rom and ops configuration is i5 11 gen 8GB RAM and 256GB SSD with 80 pin configuration. In the front panel, we have 16 watt 2 speakers and one Type C input and one HDMI input and one Touch USB and two USB 3.0 inputs. In the rear side, we have two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output and three USB inputs and one RJ45 input, one VGA with audio and one RS232 control ports. Yeah, this is the home screen of Android operating system. On the right side corner of the display, uh, you will get these icons. So as I said, this, is, this display will come with a dual operating system. You can switch from one operating system to another operating system. By clicking this icon, you can select the sources or you can switch between the one operating system to another operating system. And next is brightness control icon. So by using this icon you can control the brightness of the display you can decrease or increase the brightness of the display and next is volume control button by using this icon you can control the volume of the display and next three icons are related to network settings uh, one is for uh, hotspot and another one is for uh, LAN connection and another one is for Wi-Fi connections okay next application is a uh, note so in this note, uh, if you want to change the color of the background or theme of the background or templates, you can change here itself. So if you want to change the template, you can choose any template and click on OK. Uh, that will get changed. And if you want to change the background color, you can change the color and uh, you just need to click on OK. So the background will get changed. When you, Once you click on this whiteboard, you will get all these features. Let us go one by one. When you click on this right, you will get different types of pens, pencil, brush and magic pen. So you can change the thickness of the pen also. And in a single pen, you can write it in two colors. You have to choose one tip for one color and another tip for another color. And you can write anything and you can highlight from another tip. You can use a, two different colors in a single pen. And if you want to erase anything, you can erase by palm or you can choose this eraser icon and you can erase the content and you will be having redo undo options so you can do that also when you want to clear everything whatever you have written on the whiteboard when you want to clear it in a single click that time you have to press this clean so it will get cleared in a single click so next is ruler when you click on this icon you will get mathematical tools like scale protractor set square so when teachers want to draw a particular uh, shapes in with the accurate dimension that time they can use this maths tools so you have to click on that and you can draw the line like this you can increase the width of the scale and you can continue from there so like this you can draw or if you want to draw an, an angle so you have to drag like this and you have to click on this then you can remove so whatever the angle you want to do you can draw from this by using this protractor so this is about a ruler when you click on this shape you will get 2d and 3d shapes when teachers want to draw a circle or rectangular they just need to click on the circle and they have to drag like this or if it is a rectangular they have to click on the rectangular uh, icon and they have to drag like this and when they want to show the 3d drawings that time they have to click on this 3d and they have to select the image and they just need to drag like drag like this so this is all about the shapes and next is pair mode 
in this pair mode three different students can write it in a single time the single display will get divided into three screens so three students can write at a time when teachers want to show anything in the table format that time they can use this form icon so in this you will get a table so you can increase or decrease the columns or and rows to that you have to select this select icon and you have to select the part and you just need to click on this plus symbol to add the uh, columns or minus symbol to delete the columns and for rows also it is similar method you have to click on plus or minus to add or delete the cells and this cells will come with the auto adjustment whenever you have written on something it will get auto adjusted to the cell so this is all about this uh, form when teachers want to show about this hierarchy classification that time you can use this mind map you can add the cells or delete the cells here and you can written anything on this and it will automatically recognize your word and you can choose the word from there and like this you can add or delete the cells this is all about mind map and next is note when teachers has a agenda for the ta uh, class or lessons or any any important points to discuss in the class they can uh, write it like this and they need to click on this ok then that will go and sit in the corner of the display so that time they can refer and they can discuss throughout the class and next is move option so this is to just zoom in and zoom out the thing so when you want to zoom in the uh, page so that time you can use this move option and next is grid line so when you are teaching to the lower classes like LKG PKG that time so for that student it will be helpful so it is nothing but a four lines writing so it will automatically recognize your word also and it will fit it to the line and next thing is pages yeah you can add number of pages how many pages you want to add to this class or this session you can add number of pages next is menu in this option you will get all these features first one is new when you want to open a new file that time you can use this uh, new icon uh, next option is open when you want to open a pre saved file that time you have to click on this open and next is uh, save uh, when you want to save this current file so you have to click on this save next is import when you want to import images or any other pdf file from this display storage that time you can use this import option now i am going to import this image from the downloads so you just need to click on that import and it will automatically redirect it to this your storage and just click on this download click on the image and click on this ok so you will get the image here and you can explain it to the students whatever you want to explain so this is about the import and next is export when you want to export this complete entire pages whatever you have written so when you want to export it you can export it in image format or uh, pdf format or svg format or in iwb uh, format uh, when you export it in iwb format you can rewrite it in another display also if you Im export in image or pdf format uh, you can't rewrite in any other devices so this is about export okay next is uh, cloud storage when you want to um, store this uh, entire thing in Google Drive or OneDrive, you, you will be having the access for that also. You just need to log in to your Google Drive or OneDrive. You can store entire thing in that uh, cloud storage. And uh, next, if you want to send a mail directly, you just need to click on this send email. And next option is exit. When you want to exit from this current file or current page, uh, you just need to click on this exit exit option and uh, next is share so when you want to export this entire pages to the students phones you just need to click on this share so you will get a qr code the students uh, need to scan this qr code and uh, they'll get all these pages in their phones in a uh, image format and uh, next option is list 
this is nothing but a you can find a pre save files here so if you want to uh, continue the previous classes or previous sessions you just need to click on this and you can continue the uh, previous uh, content and next option is timer when the teachers want to conduct any time based activities or any test that time they can use this timer they can set the time here maximum time limit will be 24 hours so first digit is hours and second is minute and third one is seconds so they can set the time here and uh, they can click on the start button uh, there will be one more option if they want a, a ring when the time is finished that time they can enable this ring when time is over or else they can disable it so I'll just show in, show you an example so this is the bell ring you will get once you finished with the time next option is a stopwatch it is similar to timer so by using this stopwatch you can record the student's time whoever finishes the test or activities so by clicking this you can record the timings next option is uh, spotlight so when you want to highlight anything on this board so that time you can use this uh, spotlight so you can increase or decrease the size of the spotlight and you can use it like this when you want to highlight any particular thing or any particular image so that time you can use this uh, spotlight icon next feature is air class this is also one of the uh, important feature for the classroom application so when teachers want to conduct a test uh, in a classroom so that time they can uh, use this air class features okay in this air class we have uh, all these features first one is outer in this outer uh, we have two uh, options one is single choice and another one is multiple choice in single choice a uh, teacher has to display the question with uh, multiple choice so students can answer only one option so when we click on this begin the test will start so in the same time you can uh, uh, you can find here like how many uh, students has joined or how many students has answered the questions so when you click on this finish so the result will be displayed here when teachers uh, cl uh, click on the right answer so uh, the correct answer will show it in green color and uh, the wrong answer will show it in uh, red color when you click on this you will find whoever answered correctly and uh, also it will show the percentage of uh, uh, correct answer okay, next is uh, second second option that is multiple choice in this option student can choose multiple options so let's start the test okay uh, here it is showing how many uh, student has answered the question so we'll finish the test so here you are getting the result so I am going to click on this the right answer so here also it is showing like who like whoever answered correct and uh, it is showing the percentage also in case there are two right options so you have to click on one more option I mean you have to choose uh, the correct option so that time it will show it in green color so when you click on this it will show whoever answered correct answer and next option is selector so when teachers wants to choose this uh, students randomly so that time they can use this selector so here I am choosing two students because uh, eight student has joined here so I can choose up to eight student in this scenario so here I am choosing two students when I click on this start yeah two names are displayed here so teachers can call these two names for any activities Okay, next option is message so when the students wants to ask some question during the classes so that time they can uh, send a query or question to the teachers so that question will be displayed on the uh, uh, this display uh, or the teachers can disable this message option also next is manager option so when the students came late to the class or anyone got disconnected so that time they can scan it again and uh, they can join the class again 